Over 70 people call Yuba, Wisconsin home. This small village located in northern Richland County has a long history of serving as a hub for the local community. Not so long ago, Yuba had a post office, fire department, implement dealer, grocery store, feed mill, and cheese factory, as well as several eateries and taverns. Like many small villages, the lure of bigger cities and larger stores slowly eroded the ability for smaller businesses to remain in Yuba. Today, Yuba still boasts a local volunteer fire department, a community hall, and a few places you can get a burger and a beer. But the local grocery, post office, and cheese factory are but a memory. In 2014, when United Cooperative, the successor to the former Hillsboro Farmers Cooperative, announced the local feed mill would be permanently closing, a loose-knit group of community members came together to find a way to keep the Yuba feed mill doors open for business. Recognizing that the feed mill had in many cases replaced the services offered by businesses that left long ago, the community knew that without the feed mill, most of the products and services that were available in the village would be gone forever. Jim Huffman is the village president in Yuba. Without the feed mill stuff, is Yuba would, we might as well say it had been a ghost town because uh, it, it's our, it's our main, main source of uh, of uh, people coming in for business and stuff it is also uh, it helps the community out by far with without it we would have nothing no longer would you be able to fuel your car or tractor from the pumps outside the mill that bolt you needed to keep mowing hay on a hot summer day would now only be available after a 40 minute round trip to a neighboring city hauling your corn to be ground into feed would no longer be done by a tractor and gravity box and the regular discussions about the weather or the latest farming method with your neighbor wouldn't take place over a cup of coffee while picking up another set of vice grips after you lost yours yesterday. Determined not to let Yuba drift off into the history books, friends and neighbors from Yuba and beyond decided to make a difference. With nearly every member of the community attending the first community meeting, several possible action plans were considered. But ultimately, the community called upon their locally owned electric cooperative, Richland Electric Cooperative, locally known as REC, to provide some assistance. After meeting with members of the community and seeing the overwhelming support to keep an operating feed mill and access to the many convenience items the mill offered, the REC Board of Directors agreed to put its management and staff on the project. REC quickly moved to establish a project team that would be able to address the many items needing to be addressed. Knowing the impending closing date was less than 90 days from the time they started, time was of the essence. The team would need to assess the past financial performance of the business, develop forward-looking business plans, address issues related to the real estate and condition of the property, reach terms with United Cooperative so the business could remain in operation, and deal with a multitude of rules and regulations associated with running a business like a feed mill and fueling station. Early on, the REC staff was uncertain as to whether or not they could find a way to keep the mill going. And if they could, would it be owned and operated by REC or one of its subsidiaries or sold to a private party? Over the course of 30 days, REC built five different business models, which could be considered to keep the mill running. They could lease the facility and operate it themselves with United Cooperative as a wholesale supplier. They could buy the mill outright and buy wholesale products in the open market. They could buy the mill and lease it to an interested group of entrepreneurs to operate. They could help the community build a locally owned cooperative that would buy the mill and operate it as a cooperative, or they could find a private buyer that would operate the mill and REC would provide economic development assistance, including business planning and financing. All options were still on the table just 20 days before the mill was set to close. The REC board was informed of two preferred options, buying it outright and operating it without United as a wholesaler, or finding a private buyer and helping with business planning and financing. Surrounding communities had started hearing about the work going on to save the local feed mill, and that news had percolated through several media outlets, coffee shops, and other places of interest. One person hearing of the Yuba effort was Matt Koba of Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Koba's an experienced business owner with family ties to the Yuba area, and he knew the value of the local mill, both as a business and as a community asset. After reaching out to the REC project team and learning from them all of the challenges and opportunities related to the mill, a plan started to come together. 
COBA agreed with REC's financial assistance in the terms of an economic development loan that he would be willing to buy the mill, keep the employees on board, and perhaps add more as the business grew. 90% of the, of the buy was specifically for the Yuba community and the Hillsborough community. When I say 90% of the, of the purchase was community-based, it's community-based on what we can do for you, but it's also growing my own companies within the feed mill. So they, they, all, they all tie together. It was a good fit. It was a, it was a strategic purchase. It wasn't off the cuff by any stretch. It, it was a good fit. On November 19, 2014, Richland Electric Cooperative, through a subsidiary it had developed solely for the purpose of buying the mill property, took ownership of the property and the very next day sold the business to Coba, just one day before the mill was to be permanently closed. You could literally hear the pin drop. Shannon told the, the story perfectly. People were just waiting for, I'm sorry the mill is being closed. Let's move on with life and do what we need to do. Instead, he says, but I would like to introduce the new owner to you folks. And all of a sudden, it's like uh, back in the old high school days, the game-winning shot just happened. Uh, people are, are elated, happy, crying. It, 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 was, it was just a fantastic moment to be there to witness a community really coming together does that make you money? No, but it sure makes you feel good knowing that you have a, a business that will move forward. I got to thank Shannon and the REA. They, they've done a swell job for us and stuff it is of keeping our little community going. Today, the doors of the mill remain open for business because of the efforts of community members who chose to set their own course for the future. Many of those same people are the members and the owners of Richland Electric Cooperative couple the people of the community with their electric cooperative and local businesses willing to invest and you quickly see just how powerful the power of human connections truly is.